great to finally be out of the kitchen. Though I can't say I care for the food here. Go for the juggler! Well, it certainly is nothing like your cooking. <laughs> I know! I've spent many years slaving away to get this good. It didn't come easy, I'll tell you that. You know, Edna, I was quite surprised when you asked me to have coffee with you. I never knew you were interested in chemistry. Lay off the sweet time. Oh, my dear doctor, I am very passionate in my love of chemistry. It's all I can do about them cooking away in my kitchen. It seems a student has been leaving muffins in my classroom when I'm not there. But they're just awful. I mean, really bad. I wonder who it could be. Awful, you say? Why, you, uh, I mean, I, I don't know who it could be. <laughs> I mean, kids are so silly, I hate most of them, the obnoxious little brats. Ah, the foolish infatuations of youth. I suppose my mastery of the fascinating subject of chemistry could quite affect a young woman. Oh, yes, me too. I imagine they'd be constantly thinking about your bald head, the beads of sweat on your forehead, and the way your lab cooks. Forget about him. Never him. so snugly oh. to your backside. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, sounds like you've, uh, given it some thought. Oh, yes, I mean, no, I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? Hmm? Your coffee is getting cold, Watsy. Drink it all! It's good stuff! Whoa, I'm feeling a little light-headed. It must be the fumes from the lab. Yeah, that's probably it. Have some more coffee! I'm feeling not good. Oh, I better go. Gorgeous! It's about time I show you what I know about chemistry! <laughs> and a little biology! <laughs> That's how it's done. 